highly contested U.S. presidential polls is now just days away. Let's now take a look at the stories that are shaping the race to the White House. As presidential contestants, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump focus on cost of living issues that concern voters. The slower job growth attributed to recent hurricanes and labor strikes, it has given a fresh opportunity to both contestants to throw punches on economic woes. The world's biggest economy added just 12,000 jobs last month as per a report by the Department of Labor. Job growth is expected to rebound in November, Biden said on Friday, highlighting a new contract proposal for striking Boeing workers. He also claimed that he was the most pro-union president in American history. Look, just since I've been elected, I'm proud to be listed as the pro most pro-union president of American history. The middle class is growing. The middle class is growing. They're the best economy in the world right now because of you. All right, the hiring and unemployment data is said to be scrutinized by the teams of both the presidential contestants. Now, following uh, the elder Chene's endorsement of Democratic contestant Kamala Harris, Donald Trump has termed Liz Cheney a war hawk during a conversation with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson in Arizona. He said, and I quote, she might be less of a war hawk if guns were trained on her face. Liz Cheney, the daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney, is a former Congresswoman and a staunch critic of Trump. She responded to Trump labeling the ex-president vindictive and cruel. Responding to the questions, Trump dismissed her response as a very dumb individual and a radical war hawk who allegedly kills people. Is it HHS, maybe? He knows it better than anybody. It's for the community of Dearborn, so please let us welcome Mr. Donald J. Trump. If you ever do that, she wouldn't be doing too well, I will tell you right now. But she's a war She wants to kill people unnecessarily. And if, you, if she had to do it herself, and she had to do it his views on vaccines, Mr. President? We'll be talking about a lot of things, but he's going to have a big role in health care, a very big role. Is it HHS, he knows it, maybe? He knows it better than anyone. For just four days left, Republican Vice President nominee J.D. Vance campaigned in Michigan, urging voters to make their voices heard, whether on election day or through early voting. We are going to win this race. That's what Vance said emphasizing the importance of voter turnout. His visit comes after an upcoming stop by Vice President and the Democratic nominee Kamala Harris, who is scheduled to hold campaign events in Detroit and uh, East Lansing on Sunday. Harris will also address a pardon me, will also address at a black church in Detroit. Here's how you vote the legal way. You take yourself to the polls, you get nine of your friends and family to go along with you. So that's what we've got to do. So whether you're voting on election day or whether you're taking advantage of that early vote period through Sunday, we're going to win this race, but only if we get out there and make our voices heard. So let's go do it.